In this video, we're going to discuss electrons and how electrons relate to the ground state and the excited state of an atom. The atom has different components. In the middle of an atom, there's the nucleus, and this is where we find the protons and neutrons. But on the outside of the nucleus, we have the energy levels, or the orbitals, and this is where we find the electrons. Electrons are on those energy levels. Electrons can actually switch energy levels, up or down, but electrons have to be on an energy level, not in between energy levels. To switch between energy levels or orbitals, energy needs to be released or absorbed. When this happens, you'll have two states. The ground state, which is the lowest possible energy that an atom can have, and the excited state, which is the energy level of an atom in which the electron is at a higher energy level than the ground state. To go to a higher energy level, electrons must absorb or gain energy from somewhere. When an electron gains the energy, it becomes excited and it'll move up energy levels. These high energy electrons are unstable at the excited state. And what they'll do is they'll fall back down to a lower energy level or the ground state. When an electron falls back down closer to the nucleus, it must lose or release energy equal to the energy difference between the levels. Let's take a look at what happens when you add a metal atom to a fire. In that example, we saw a metal atom placed into a fire. At the beginning, before being placed into the fire, the atom was in the ground state. But what ends up happening is, once the atom is placed into the fire, then we see the excited state. Well, it can't stay in the excited state, so what ends up happening is that energy has to be released. And that's when we saw the emission and the change in color of the fire.